Hey guys, it's Koi Dosh and I am back with another video. Today we're going to be doing another TWA hairstyle because I don't know about y'all, but I've been getting my life with all these looks I've been able to create for my little afro. So we're just going to keep it going. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to click subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and join our growing family. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Cream of Nature uh, Leave-In Conditioner from their new Pure Honey line. And I'm just going to spray that all over my hair and comb it through this is going to you know help with the naps if you you know if your hair ain't just wash and go because everybody can't just wash their hair and go okay when I wash my hair and go it turns into a Brillo pad all right um I'm then gonna go in with their pure honey edge control and I'm gonna place that all throughout my hair this is what's going to hold the hair together um and especially when we separate and part the hair because when your hair is this short and thick like mine is really hard for you to um, part it so the edge control just helps keep everything where I need it to be I just take a little bit of it put it on the back of my hand and then as I part I just you know keep going in with even more um, edge control in my last few videos you guys have seen me use another edge control as well this edge control is very practical for like when you're going to work and you just want to lay your edges down um, and it does have super great hold like the hold is amazing on it and it doesn't leave that white cast that a lot of edge controls do leave um, I think that the pure honey line is amazing so if you haven't gotten a chance yet to check them out definitely go to your beauty supply stores and check them out so I'm just separating my hair into little parts you know struggle buns everywhere but it's okay we're getting a job done um and we're gonna focus on section for section you don't need it to be perfect because we're just doing braids box braids so it doesn't need to be like box 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 i'm doing it more like just parting it in any direction so that it can all fall in the way that i want it so i'm using um these rubber bands you can get it at the beauty supply store for like $1.99 and I am just going to section off my hair add a little edge control and continue putting rubber bands on it you guys have seen me do this method a couple of times when I do crochet so you're not new to this if you're not new to the channel a lot of you guys express um, concerns about breakage or it being too tight as you can see my hair is growing and you can see that my edges are intact and everything is good it actually does not have a lot of tension at all it depends on how you place the rubber bands and how tight you make the rubber bands what I like to do is comb my hair through make sure there's a little bit of space between the rubber band and I'm pressing down on my hair with my fingers so that I can still have a little bit of air within my hair and then I apply the rubber band you want the rubber band to be tight enough to hold on to the braid so that they're not just like falling out while you walking around but you also don't want it to be super tight to where you see those little bumps in your hair you know when you go get your hair braided in the african store they sometimes like make sure they get every single piece of hair you don't need to get every single piece of hair you just need to get enough so that these braids are not just sliding off while you're doing your daily activities so for those of you guys who are concerned about tension don't be and for those of you guys who are worried about my edges worry about you and your parents edges all right thank you god bless all right so <laughs> i'm taking this uh, i think they're 52 inch jumbo braids i got these from the beauty supply store and i'll tag everything in the description bar so don't worry but i got it from the beauty supply store you can use regular braiding hair also you just have to um, manipulate it so that it can be long enough instead of it it comes already folded so just take out the rubber band from the middle of it and leave it as long as possible and then um start braiding from there in order for it to be as long as you want um so basically all I did was wrap it around the rubber band you want to get a good grip on it you're gonna see me right here you put it in three make sure you get a good grip of the actual rubber band your hair your little you know hair is gonna be out there you're gonna attach it to one piece of the braiding hair and then you're gonna to continue to braid it inward if that makes any sense if you guys need a tutorial on how to braid please let me know in the comments please thumbs up this video and I'll get that out to you but it's pretty self-explanatory you're just gonna you know start off from the top you're gonna grip the rubber band and then you're just gonna continue to braid 
It's not, I don't feel like it's that hard. I've been braiding since forever, so maybe it's not that hard for me. Some people feel like this is the hardest thing ever. So you're just going to grip onto the rubber band and the hair. Make sure that your braiding hair is in three. And then you're going to just start braiding it and attaching it to your hair. It looks like it. it's um, like I'm being rough, but this is my own head. I know what I can take, so that's the reason why it looks like I'm being a little bit rough. But it actually did not hurt at all. And towards the end, you guys will see, I'll be able to do so many different styles with the hair. And it doesn't pull on my hair. I, I can still feel the air between my hair. And you can see... When we get a close-up of the braid, you will see that I am not completely into my scalp. Like, I left a lot of space so that when my new growth comes in, it gives it, you know, room for it to actually grow. All right? So we're just going to continue that process until we get to the next side. So as you can see, the hair is not completely down into my scalp, like it's not pulling the hair out, it's just holding on to the rubber band. And the one in the front, I made it a little bit tighter because that's usually the one that slides off. It doesn't need to be that tight for you, but I know what I can take and I can take it, so that's the reason why it looks like it's a lot tighter than everyone else's. So anyway, what we're going to do on the next side is exactly what we did on the other side. I'm going to take some of that edge control and I'm just going to start parting my hair and make sure that the edge control is evenly distributed throughout the hair so that you know everything is flat looks nice and clean and it has um you know the rubber band has something to adhere to so we're just going to keep on parting the hair adding the rubber bands and we're going to do that throughout the whole head and I'm going to come back with the whole side of my head fully rubber band out all right so now that we have the rubber bands all throughout the hair we're going to do the same exact thing that we did on the other side and we're going to start gripping the braiding hair to the rubber band um you make sure that you have the braiding hair in three sections and then you attach it to the rubber band and make sure that it is on tight enough to not slide off i recommend that you guys do the gripping first instead of braiding the whole braid all the way down for time purposes if you don't want to you know be doing this hair for like three days just make sure that you grip all of the rubber bands with the braiding hair get mid braid and then you can finish off the braids at the end i'm gonna come back with all the braids done and a little bit of some hair jewelry because i didn't show you guys that because um if you watch my last video which i will link in the description bar i show you guys how i add the jewelry and everything like that and here we are with the final look as you can see there's a lot of space for my hair to breathe it's moving around it looks really nice it looks like it looks like i got a whole bunch of hair under there and i don't um and now i'm just gonna take my scissor and just cut off any of the flyaway hairs or anything again if you guys need a video on how I added the jewelry which I got from the beauty supply store you can definitely click the link in the description bar and it will take you there I'm taking my olive oil uh, nourishing oil sheen and I don't know the background made it look crazy I don't know why but anyway um, I'm using that to just spray it all over my hair and then I'm gonna take that edge control and you should probably use a harder brush this brush was soft as hell so it took so long for me to lay these edges down but usually I use a comb and I'm just gonna lay down these edges and this is the final look you don't have to do nothing extra after that you just get everything together make sure that you spray your oil sheen and take a little bit of edge control into the middle this is how long it is it's actually pretty long it's down to like under my butt um and i'll be back with my face b okay wait it's coming oh oh girl girl you look good you look good <laughs> um so let me show you guys some of the looks that you can do in case you're worried about professionalism etc you can put this in a nice little ponytail yes yes girl and comment below which one was your favorite look i really like my hair in the ponytail up and down um and then you could take like a braid or two from the underneath the hair and bring it to the back and it gives you this nice little this nice little cute look you know this is the look i used to do in in junior high school all the time with my weaves 
You can also do a nice little updo, bring the hair up. You can roll it around if you want it to be like a bun at the top also. But here I just show you guys how to do a nice little updo and bring some of the hair from the back um, towards the front. This is a cute look also for young and, and um, older people. Um, and you can also do a high bun. And that was my main thing. I wanted to be able to put my hair up also because I don't always want hair in my face. And then I just don't always want to do my hair every day. So I'm hoping that I could keep these in for a couple of months. Um, but this is the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. Follow me on Instagram at Chloe Dodge. And I'll see you guys later. Yes, close up. Yes.